Welcome to Premath. In this video, we got uh, two semicircles uh, fully inscribed uh, in a rectangle uh, A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And moreover, uh, we got uh, this uh, diagonal uh, AC that passes through this uh, point of tangency P such that uh, this uh, line segment uh, AP is uh, 11 uh, units and this uh, line segment uh, PC is uh, 7. And furthermore, uh, these uh, dimensions of this uh, rectangle are represented by X and Y respectively. And now our task is to solve for X and uh, Y. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We drew this uh, auxiliary line uh, MP by connecting uh, these two points uh, P and uh, M as you can see over here. And now let's recall the Thales uh, theorem. According to this theorem, if we got uh, these points uh, M, P and A as a distinct point uh, on the circle uh, along with this uh, line AM as the diameter, then the angle uh, MPA is a 90 degree angle. And here we can see that AM is the diameter and these A, P and M are the distinct uh, points on the same circle. So no wonder this angle uh, got to be 90 degrees. So therefore our angle uh, MPA turns out to be 90 degrees. And furthermore, uh, this angle uh, A, B, C is a 90 degree angle since we are dealing with the rectangle. And here's our next step. Let's focus on these uh, two right triangles. Uh, this big right triangle uh, ABC and this uh, right triangle uh, APM. And now we can see that these uh, two right triangles uh, ABC and the triangle uh, APM are uh, similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem. Since our these angles are uh, 90 degrees and furthermore uh, these are our alternate interior angles and they are congruent. So therefore as a result we are going to have a proportion. Let me go ahead and write down these uh, ratios. Let me write down first one is going to be AM divided by P rather AP. This must be equal to another ratio AC divided by BC. And here's our next step. Let's make an observation. We can see that this AB is the radius uh, of this uh, blue semicircle. And this uh, AM is the diameter of this uh, very same uh, blue semicircle. So this uh, diameter is going to be twice of that one. So that is going to be 2 times Y. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. AM in our case is uh, 2 times Y divided by AP in our case uh, is 11 equals to AC in our case is uh, this whole distance uh, that is going to be 11 plus 7 is going to give us uh, 18 divided by BC in our case is uh, X. So I'm going to write down X at the denominator. Now let's go ahead and cross uh, multiply. So we are going to have 2 times uh, XY equal to 11 times uh, 18. Now let's divide both sides by 2. So therefore we got uh, X times Y on the left hand side equal to 99. And now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula. Area equals to length uh, times uh, width. In our case our length is x uh, and the width is uh, y. So no wonder the area of this rectangle A, B, C, D is going to be a 99 uh, square units. Let me go ahead and call this our equation number 1. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, big right triangle uh, A, B, C whose this uh, hypotenuse uh, is uh, 11 plus uh, 7 is going to be 18 uh, units long. And now let's go ahead and apply the Pythagorean uh, theorem on this triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call uh, this longest leg as our side c. I'm going to call this side a and this side uh, lowercase b. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. a square is going to be in our case uh, x square plus uh, b square is y square 
equal to c in our case is 18 whole square. So therefore our equation is going to become x square plus uh, y square equal to 324. Let me go ahead and call this our equation number 2. Let me go ahead and tweak this equation. I'm going to add both sides uh, 2xy on the left hand side and I'm going to add uh, 2xy on the right hand side uh, as well. As you can see in this uh, next uh, step I have added a uh, 2xy on uh, both sides. It doesn't make any difference uh, whatsoever. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus b square plus uh, 2ab and as we can focus on this one uh, this whole thing on the left hand side could be written as uh, x uh, plus uh, y whole uh, square and furthermore on the right hand side let's look at this uh, xy and we know from equation 1 uh, xy equals 299 so therefore I'm going to replace this uh, xy by 99 as you can see in this uh, next uh, step and if we simplify everything uh, our x plus y whole square turns out to be 522. Now let's go ahead and take a square root on uh, both sides to undo this uh, square. So this square and square root is gone so x plus y value turns out to be square root of uh, 522. Let me go ahead and call this our equation uh, number uh, 3. And here's our next step. Let's focus now on equation 2. And here I have copied down equation 2. And now we are going to tweak uh, this equation by subtracting uh, 2xy from uh, both uh, sides. As you can see in this uh, next step I have uh, subtracted uh, 2xy from both uh, sides. And now let's recall another famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square plus b square minus 2ab. So therefore the left hand side is simply is going to become x minus y whole square. And let's focus on the right hand side this x times y is equal to 99 from equation 1. So therefore I'm going to replace this one by 99 as you can see in this uh, next step and if we simplify furthermore our x minus y whole square turns out to be 126 and now let's go ahead and take a square root on both sides to undo this uh, square so therefore on the left hand side we got uh, x minus y equal to square root of uh, 126 let me call this our equation uh, number uh, 4 and here's our next step. Let's go ahead and add uh, equation 3 and 4 to eliminate uh, y. And I, here I have copied down equations 3 and 4. Now let's go ahead and add them up. We can see this positive y and negative y they are uh, gone. So we ended up with uh, 2 times x equal to square root of uh, 522 plus uh, square root of uh, 100 and 26. Now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2 to isolate x. So therefore our x value turns out to be square root of 522 plus square root of 126 all over 2. And if we simplify the right hand side x is going to be approximately equal to 17.04. And now let's focus on this uh, equation uh, 3 and here I have copied down equation 3 and now let's go ahead and move this uh, x uh, on the right hand side. As you can see in this next step I have moved this x on the right hand side and we know our x value is approximately equal to 17.04 so I'm going to replace this uh, x by 17.04. As you can see in this uh, next step this x has been replaced by 17.04. And if we simplify the right hand side y is going to be approximately equal to 5.81. And finally these are our x and y values. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.